In this quick video, we're going to see how we can use uh, Redshift in Blender. Now, there is a process, really simple installation we need to go through. Now, if you want to know more about integrations, you can see this page here from Maxon, where you can see all the software where you can use uh, Redshift. Of course, you need to try or buy Redshift, and you can also download it uh, alone or together with Cinema 4D. In my case, I have Cinema 4D plus Redshift, but this also gives me the possibility to use Redshift in Blender. So if you want to also check here how to install Blender, uh, you, you'll find this page where, where there are all the instructions that we're going to use in this video. And also uh, you can get the, the directories from there. So um, first of all, you need to have, of course, Blender installed. And my version here is 4.0, which is kind of the latest. So um, maybe we have some issues with this. So first of all, let's get the the Blender plugin. So you'll find it in C Program Data, Redshift Plugins Blender, and I'm using the 3.4. So this is why this could go an issue with the with the installation. So um, just to show you here it, the the entire directory, you you need to go in Program Data, which is is a hidden folder. And once you are in there, Redshift Plugins, and then Blender, and then select the version. Now, if you have problems, you can download the, the previous version of Blender. And that's the zipped folder that we need. Inside, if you double click, you'll find a folder called Redshift. That's the folder we're going to extract. We're going to drag and drop inside the add-ons folder in, uh, in Blender. So that's program data there. As you can see, it's, it's invisible until you uh, activate the visibility of hidden files and folder. You need to do that in Windows. In this case, I'm using Windows. And otherwise, just copy and paste the entire uh, link, the entire directory. You can just Control C, Control V, or type that entire directory and paste it or write it in the bar there. So you're going to get there directly. Now, for the Blender part, we need to go in our PC see users and select your username next one will be the app data it again is an hidden folder roaming and then here go to blender foundation and blender and you select the version right here so in my case it's 4.0 so 4.0 scripts add-ons and there you go now i can click and drag the, the folder from the Redshift into the Blender add-ons folder. And that's it. All you need to do is this passage right here. Once you do that, you get into Blender. All you need to go is go to Edit and go to Preferences. And here, go in the add-ons section and just search for Redshift. It's supposed to be already in there. And there it is. Now make sure you don't have the enable add-ons only activated, otherwise you won't see it. So that's something you need to make sure of. And just activate it. So that's the add-on right there, it's visible. It's giving me an exclamation mark, like an attention sign, because there, 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 there probably will be problems with this because this is still under development. So it means it's not probably ready yet. So again, if you have problems, just go back to a previous version of Blender and use the correct Redshift um, version. And uh, we will find also extra documentation here. And so if you click here, you can see um, where you can use Redshift in Blender. You can use it for the cameras, you can use it with the lights, with the uh, global illumination, volumetric rendering, uh, shaders and textures and other stuff that, you know, you, you can look up here. So that's an interesting page if you want to know more about Redshift for Blender. You can use GPU, you can use CPU, you can use both of them. You can do hybrid rendering. But again, this is all under development. So you, probably it's um, it's not going to work. So again, try to go back to a previous Blender version. But this is just to show you how you can install it. All I want to do here is just apply 
let's see here. I want to just create a um, monkey head. Let's make a test and want to generate some subdivision surface. There we go. And of course, for the render activation, you need to go to the render panel in the properties. And here, we're going to switch from EV into, yeah, you can choose cycles, which is the default. And we can go in the render view with cycles. We can still, we can already see and still see that cycles is working. So we can work both with both cycles EV and uh, also with cycles and Redshift. But as soon as I clicked, it's kind of crashed. So probably again, it's an issue concerning the, the two different versions. So try it with different versions. Try to go back and select another one and try it. So, and we're gonna create more videos probably in the future about this integration right here. So subscribe to stay updated and join the channel to support us and thank us. And check out other courses in Blender, Redshift, Octane, V-Ray, whatever. Uh, you'll find a lot of videos about uh, various render engines and software in the channel that may be interesting for you. So that's all. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video guide.